Sirius from Sirius Q2 show is TOA at 1520 at Cheetham Primary. This is really PC Taylor, PC Girl. We understand your son's gone missing. Is there any chance he started off by himself or with some friends? No. Has he done anything like this before? No, Owen always waits out front for me. Something's happened. What is it? He had his bike, uh, a present from his father. Excuse me, over here. Sales from 795, locating a missing boy's bike, but no boy. Five two, I'm on my way. Owen Rooney, aged eight. We're missing from outside the school gates about 45 minutes ago. His bike was found just round the corner. Risk assessment rated as high. So all the witnesses are saying the same thing. Owen was playing around on his bike, waiting for his mum, and then he was gone. Any CCTV? Not from the alley. We're collecting footage from the school security cameras, but they only cover the gates and the ground. Search. Photographs and descriptions have been circulated and we're doing door by door of all the residents in the surrounding streets. Are you be coordinating for my behalf? I will. It's a nice bike. Yeah, there's a present from his dad. And though his mum wasn't pleased about it. They divorced Maggie and Phil really. So where are they now? Oh, well, mum's gone home, just in case he makes contact or turns up. Right, I'll get a couple of CID officers to join her. OK, we tried to contact the father, but we're just getting a messenger service. We need to find him ASAP. We think the dad might have him. Well, let's hope so, eh? Sweeney, does Owen ever go off on his own after school? No, never. We have an understanding. It's the rules, you know. Three o'clock, outside the school gates, every day. We never deviate. But he did today. Flat tyre. It was only five minutes. Why didn't he wait so the teachers could see him? Stupid bike. We're having trouble tracking down Owen's father. I can't help. We don't really speak. Thank you. I'm doing a message. Uh, this is DS Moss and um, DC Perkins. This is uh, Danny May and my partner. Okay, I'll be all right. I promise you, we'll find him. All right. Contact you. I'm working. What do you want? It's about your son. What is her problem? I sent him a bicycle. I'm still allowed to buy him presents, aren't I? Of course, didn't say anything about that. I'm afraid, Mr. Rooney, uh, your son's gone missing about half an hour ago from school. Missing? What do you mean, missing? Mr. Rooney, is it all right if we have a look around inside? You think I've got him? But she put you up to this. Knock yourselves out. So what you got? Uh, we've got officers moving north and south down Tredgar Street, but we've had no luck with any of the residents either end of the alleyway. We found the father? Yes, no sign of the kid, though. And he wasn't too pleased about being treated like a suspect. Well, I'll have to get used to it. They all will. I want background checks on the parents. Partners, too. Thank you. Security footage from the school. Owen Rainey. He rides down the alleyway.
117 seconds later, his mother arrives. That's in five minutes. Late. You were late. Don't, Phil. Just don't. Look, this is nobody's fault. And pointing the finger isn't going to help your son. I haven't seen or spoken to my son for three months. Not allowed. Unfit. After the things her solicitor said about me. The things you said about me. This isn't doing any good. Who asked you? You moved in then? Not yet. Leave Danny out of this. How can I? You're bringing a stranger into my home. To live with my son. I'm sick of this waiting around. You got something better you could be doing? Yeah, looking for Rowan. Where? Look, we've got a dozen officers out on the street. Unless, of course, there's some place specific that I might have gone to, but you haven't told us about. Hotel Mike 5 from Sierra Oscar 1. We have your image on our screens. We'll send a squad car to check it out. Over. You seen this boy? Went missing early this afternoon. Hey, Ben, 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 Ben. Like I said, he saw a boy matching out his description around the corner of this lane, sat on a bench with an adult male. Here, is it? At least we've got CCTV. Oh. oh. I didn't read it. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's Owens. Where did you find it? It was found on a bench, three streets away from Cheetham Primary. He threw it away. He'd never do that. How bad is your son's asthma? Well, I don't know. It's asthma. Sometimes he has attacks, he takes his medicine, he's all right again. Have any of you spoken to or heard from Owen since he disappeared? Of course not. What's going on? What aren't you telling us? This is CCTV footage of Fish Line, approximately 30 minutes after your son went missing. Owen! Do any of you recognise this man? Doing? Who's he talking to? Well, we were hoping he was talking to one of you. Right, just over an hour ago, Owen Rooney was apparently abducted by this as yet unidentified man from an alleyway next to his school. Apparently, sir. Well, Owen didn't show any signs of distress that you'd expect from an eight-year-old boy who's just been abducted. You think he knows his abductor? I think it's possible, yeah. Now, we all know that these abductions are usually planned over a period of weeks, but there's nothing here to show that this was random or opportunistic in any way. So this guy could have been outside the school for quite a few weeks. So that means we talk to everybody who's involved in this school. That's parents, teachers, pupils, neighbours, caretakers, you name it. What we got on the parents, Terry? Well, Phil and Maggie really divorced six months ago. So the divorce was acrimonious, would be a bit of an understatement. The initial background checks came back clean, they got no form whatsoever. Maggie Reaney's got a partner named Daniel Mayer. Now, he's got a caution for a fray, but that was over ten years ago when he was a teenager. There are some custody issues, though. 
Yeah, the biggest of which is that Phil Reaney hasn't seen his son in over three months. Well, the more reason to do something about it. So we need to have a closer look. Stevie. Well, we haven't got enough for facial recognition, but we do have a partial plate, and I've got people working on that now. OK, well, one thing we do know is that this guy made a mobile phone call from this place at exactly 15.30 in connection with the abduction. Right, he's now been missing for one hour, 37 minutes. That's from his mum, his family, his friends. Let's see if we can bring him home, eh? I don't see why I have to come back here. Well, we keep the family together in the short term, so we can respond to events more quickly. Why, is there some place you need to be? Anywhere but here. Bad memories. Oh! God, it's gone flat again! Maggie! I saw that event. That's the reason why she was late. Was it? It's a day of all days, huh? A bit of bad luck, wouldn't you say? Just looking for tea bags. Thought I'd make us a cup of take our minds off things. They're in the top cupboard on the left. Right. Do you want a tea? Uh, no, no, I'm good. Thank you. So, I hope so. It's all changed. Everything. My son. Eight years old. And in six months I've been airbrushed out of his life. Replaced. I made some mistakes. That doesn't give her the right to cut me out of his life. I won't let her. Uh, guys, it's just the officer downstairs asking for you. OK, thanks. The school had already called an emergency staff meeting. When we got there, one of the teachers came forward and said they'd seen a plumber's van parked outside at midday. Who were in his van? Yeah, and it's not the first time either. He's been seen several times over the last few weeks, always parked in the same spot. Lunch times mainly, to avoid bumping into his wife, probably. Just watching, sir. And nobody thought to report it. He's a parent watching his son at play. He goes against his custody rights, though, doesn't it? Well, apparently he never approached Owen, just watched him. The school had no reason to believe that Phil Reaney would ever harm his son. Well, they'd be wrong, then. Because, according to the court records of the custody case, Phil Reaney was refused any and all access because the court believed him to be a danger to his son's health. Based on what? An incident that happened two years ago. Owen was hospitalised, he had ten stitches to his head, a broken arm. It wasn't a criminal case at the time, but it did come up in family court. We got Leon? Yeah. It's no wonder it's gone flat again. It's been spiked. Bit of a jump, though, isn't it? I mean, uh, arranging the abduction of your own son. Well, there is something else. Uh, Phil Reaney is supposed to be paying £700 a month in child support. So far, he hasn't paid a penny. He claims that he can't even cover his own rent. That's a copy of an account from his business. 17000 In profit, in six months. Pays to be a plumber. Right, get Terry to source Phil out. Gov. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll get back to you. I'll work for you. Have a seat. Where are you this afternoon? I told you already. Working. 
And he went straight home. Yes? What is this? You think I had something to do with my son being taken? I think you're lying. You told my colleague and I you hadn't seen your son in three months. You lied. You saw him today. You were spotted outside his school watching him. It's the only chance I get. Do you understand? He's my son. I would never do anything to hurt him. That's not what the family court thinks, is it? This used to be all mine. Before the family court got involved. I grew up on an estate just down the road. Do you know that? No. Honey, you seem to know everything else about me. I had to look after my dad when my mum left him. Left us. Eventually I made enough of myself to be able to afford a decent nursing home for him. So I could get on with my own life. Get away from him. Get away from there. Now. And now you think you're back where you started, is that it? Not yet. There's still time. Let me ask you another question. What's the 17 grand for? The money's to pay a solicitor. So I can go to court and get my son back. Is that so wrong? I don't know. You tell me. Do you know what it's like? to work your entire life for something you never had. A family, a career, and to watch it all taken away from you. Watch some man come in and replace you. As a husband, as a father. Yeah, I know exactly what it's like. You got through it? Yeah. How? By not allowing my past to dictate my future. It was an accident, you know? However Maggie and her lawyers made it look. Owen was jumping up and down on the bed. I was trying to work. I was in insurance back then, and I hated it, you know? You gotta put food on the table, don't you? I lost it. Turned around, screamed at him. Told him to shut up and sit down. He fell right off the bed, broke his arm, cut his head on my desk, got blood all over my work. I quit the next day. I would never do anything to hurt my son. I've got nothing to do with him being abducted. Where's Rini really now? I brought him in. He's going mad in the house. You all right? Yeah. I was just thinking, yeah, but through grace of God, you know what I mean? You want to see us, boss? Yeah, TIU come out with a trace on that mobile phone used by the guy who abducted Owen. It's an unregistered pay as you go phone. So is it a dead end? Not exactly. The outgoing call was made to another mobile phone, registered to Danny Mayer. Danny Mayer, Maggie Rooney's boyfriend? Yeah. Are you sure about that, boss? It's just... That doesn't make sense. His background checks out. He's, he's got a good job as a duty manager in an airport baggage hall. He's got no financial worries. Yeah, well, the background checks missed something, didn't they? So you want to bring him in? No, not yet. I don't want to spook him. OK, so what now? Steve, you get all the uniform and have a look at Danny's flat. Terry, you stay here with Phil. Yes, boss. Zero Oscar 52 from 795. 795, go ahead. Danny May has just left his house. Reckons he's been calling to work urgently. 795, all received. Don't let Maggie Rini out of your sight. You stay with her. So you're Oscar 5 2 out. She's going to let him go? Not exactly. Sierra Oscar 5 2. Tango 1 has left the house and is getting into the car. Suspect is carrying a small package. Tango 1 is driving off, heading east onto Benton Close. Glanville Street. Right, pull up Granville Street for me, please. We've got eyeballs, Sierra 1-1. One, one.
Oh, fuck. I don't believe this. Get out of the way. Oh. Sierra 111, are you? He's pulling ahead. We're stuck behind a bin lorry, sir. You're going to have to follow him for us, Sir Oscar. OK, we've got him. He's turning left. No correction. That's a right, right into Handley Street. We're losing the angle on him. We've got him now, Sierra Oscar. Thanks. Where's he going? Who knows? But maybe we'll get lucky and the kid will be waiting there for us to pick him up. When was the last time you got lucky, Inspector Smith? Do you know what I mean? Sir, we're starting to search Danny Mayer's place now. Thanks, Stevie. Any sign of Owen? No sign of life. Yeah, it's not exactly a den of iniquity, is it? Frozen head. Frozen yoghurt. Now I'm worried. Bill, bills, bills, circulars. What the hell has Mr Unremarkable Danny Mayer got to do with the abduction of an eight-year-old child? I've heard of train spotting. Does the same thing apply to aeroplanes? Flight list. No, it's a baggage handler. It's probably to do with his work. Yeah, what does he care where individual flights come from and when they're coming in? Oh, Where you going? Danny, Danny, Danny. Might as well have hit it under a pillow. Yes, Moss. Okay, great. I'll be there straight away. The system's thrown up a couple of possibilities on the partial plates we've got off the CCTV near the school. One belongs to an 80-year-old in Western Supermare. The other one belongs to Nick McCann. That is him. Possession, possession with intent, assault, all fairly low-level dealing type stuff. Mm. Fairly old. He ain't been nicked for nearly four years. Reformed? Well, we just got smarter. What's his connection with Danny Mayer? Nothing apparent. OK, go through McCann's associate list. Go back as far as you need to. There's a connection there somewhere. Have we got an address? Afraid not. He's moved on from his last known. North onto Braganza Square. Now turning back onto Darrow Road. He's got to be lost, hasn't he? I don't think so. Going around in circles, is it? Grace, is there any chance you've been spotted? I was thinking the same thing, sir. He's trying to break a tail. Here we go. He's going into Edrington Car Park. Received. Once you go in there, we'll lost eyeball on you. Are we picking up the target or sitting on the package of a drop is made? Let's see how things play out. Where's he gone? Suspect isn't visible. Oh, that's great. Thanks, Leon. Grace, what's going on in there? We're blind in here. OK, I've got two possibilities on that partial plate. One of them being a Nick McCann who was cautioned in a pub brawl alongside Danny Mayer 11 years ago. It doesn't say whose side they're both on. Well, I think we can guess. Do you want me to bring him in, ask him? I think he's about to make contact. Where's he gone? Well, it's a car park. He can't have gone far. The suspect's heading towards the exit of Speedgov. Has your tail been blown? He was waiting for someone and he saw us. What do you want us to do? Bring him in.
And he made up more rational suspicion of the abduction of Irene. Really. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you don't mention a question. Something you later on in court. Anything you do say may be given evidence. You don't understand. Somebody could be watching us. I've got the package, sir. Open it, Grace. What have you done? He's calmed down a bit now, but he's absolutely refusing to speak to anyone but Maggie. Why does he want to speak to her? To explain. What, well, he arranged to get her son kidnapped? I don't think that's what's happening here at all. He went to make a drop. He can take money to Goodson. Yeah, the kid lost his inhaler. You can't ransom a dead eight-year-old, can you? You know, the first point of contact after Owen's abduction was Danny. McCann wanted Danny to know he'd got Owen. Why? I mean, one other parent, surely they were the targets. Maybe not. Maybe it was a tiger kidnapping. What if Danny had something Nick McCann wanted? What? His package. You're an airport duty manager, is that right? How long have you been doing that job for? About eight years. Does it pay well? I wouldn't say that, but I get by. But what's this got to do with anything? Well, it just seems unlikely that a man in your financial position would leave £2,000 in cash underneath your mattress. Where'd you get the money, Danny? I saved it. For a rainy day? I thought I'd do something nice for Owen and Maggie. How'd you know Nick McCann? Oh. Don't lie to me. You know exactly who he is. You were in a pub brawl with him. Yeah, over ten years ago. And now he's back in your life. <sighs> we have phone records. We know Nick McCann called you and we know you spoke to Owen. What'd you say to him? I told him not to worry. It was going to be all right, and I would see him soon. After you did what Nick wanted? Yeah. McCann's got you bringing bags through customs, hasn't he? What's in them? Drugs, I think. I've known Nick from way back. I hadn't seen him for uh, eight years or so. And a couple of months ago, I ran into him at a reunion. He had a few drinks, caught up, you know? And two weeks ago, he phones with a proposal. Easy money. All I've got to do is ensure a bag ends up in unclaimed baggage, avoiding customs. And I've got to do the necessary paperwork. <sighs> Owen's dad never took him and Maggie abroad. You see those cheap deals they're doing to Disney, those adverts? Owen has. It was just supposed to be a one-off. No questions asked. But you asked questions? I looked in the back. No idea what I thought I'd find, but... I saw these bags of powder. And you left the bag in unclaimed baggage, is that right? I didn't know what else to do with it. I couldn't come to you guys, and I didn't want that stuff out on the streets. I told him I wasn't going through with it. I told him to walk away. I even tried to give him the money back, but... Look, I've got to get Owen back. But we can help with that. No. I can't risk Owen getting hurt. Please. This is my fault. I let Nick back into my life. To our lives. And I want to get him out again. And I can't do that unless you back off. It's too late for that. We're involved. This man has abducted a child. You can't deal with that on your own. You need us. Yeah? So how did he go? Danny's admitted to helping McCann. He made sure one of his bags dodged customs and then freaked out when he realised it was full of cocaine. So where are the drugs now? Still sitting in unclaimed baggage. Terry's onto it. Well, we got enough to charge Danny with conspiracy to import illegal substances? Well, we'd have to prove that he knew there were drugs in the bag, but I think so, yeah. What do you make of him? Danny, he's terrified. Out of his depths. Just wants to get Owen back. Yeah, well, that's our priority. But at this stage, I'm not interested in charging Danny, but I think we can use him. Danny gives McCann the drugs, he gives us Owen. Yeah, Danny gives him McCann. Think we can trust him? I think he'll do anything to protect his family. OK, you tell Danny what the options are, and I'll update Maggie and Phil. I'm gonna kill him. Well, that's not gonna help Owen. It's his fault my son's been kidnapped! <laughs> 
Danny, is he...? He's upset. But I also think he's scared. He's scared for you and he's scared for Owen. He should be scared for himself. Finding Owen. That's what we need to focus on. Maggie. Maggie, look at me. I'm sorry, Maggie. You know how much I love Owen. Please, I, we'll sort this out, I promise you. What happens now? Okay. Now, Nick McCann has taken Owen because he wants something from Danny. Danny is going to give it to him. And we're going to be there. Is that going to be safe? You're going to trust him? We don't have any choice. Well, if you come to him, McCann, you tell him you've got what he wants, but you'll only give it to him after you've seen that Owen is safe and sound. He won't hand over Owen until he's got the stuff in his hand. Which is exactly what you're going to give him. Now, he can choose a place, but you have to agree the time. Tell him you're going to need advance warning in order to pick the baggage up and get there on time. Any place? Any place. Now, this listening device is quite lightweight, so you don't want McCann frisking you too closely. Well, what if I don't get that choice? We've got an emergency code. New bike. You say those words, we'll be with you in ten seconds. Ten seconds is a long time. What about Maggie? She and Phil Rainey will remain here. Safe? Guarantee. We need you to get Nick McCann to confirm what's inside the bag and how it got there. And that he'll only release Owen if and only if he gets what is demanded. And if I can't get all that? There is some leeway. But don't leave anything to chance. That's what the wire's for. Get sent down. He's not going to forget or forgive. I'll always be wondering. Always looking over my shoulder. Nick McCann's got his own problems. Those drugs were meant for someone. This is your chance to make things right. I intend to. Sierra Oscar 1 for Sierra Oscar 5 2. Any sign of the target? Negative, sir. So, you seen anything? No, nothing yet, Gun. So, how's our boy? He's a bit twitchy. We have an eyeball on town girl one. Any sign of the kid you're in? That's a negative, sir. All right, units from Siaska 5 2. Tango one has approached Danny Mir. Over. Where's Owen? It's close. Nice to do this. No, Nick, where is he? He said he's close. He's safe. Look, Danny, you know I would. You forced me to do this. Forced you to do what? 
Force you to do what? This is the key. There's the only way I can be sure you're missing. I couldn't do it, man. I had to walk away. You don't get to make that choice. I don't get to make that choice. Where is it? Just show him to me. Please, I just want to know he's safe. Nick. Just to get this open with. Take it, that's mine. Come on, Danny. Give him the sports back. Come on, man. What's he doing? I don't know what you're talking about. Danny. I don't have anything for you. Danny. For God's sake. What's going on? What's he saying? I can't hear anything, God. See how it's going on. Have you got audio? That's a negative, sir. What do you want us to do now? Sierra, ask a 5-2 to all units. You wait for my signal. Nobody moves until Tango 1 has got the sports bag in his possession. That understood. Over. Come on, Danny. Give him the sports bag. Come on, lad. What's he doing? Let's pull the wire. All units, go, go, go! Stay still. I'm arrested on suspicion of kidnap, blackmail, and trafficking in a Class A substance. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm you. What's going on? What happened? Danny tipped him off. What? Why? That's what I intend to find out. Danny may have cut the wire before we had time to connect McCann to the drugs importation. But Danny's already given us a statement if you wanted to protect Nick McCann, he could have done it then. He wanted time and privacy. He wanted to make sure that McCann didn't say the wrong thing. Also tell him what the situation was. But we know that McCann kidnapped Owen Mooney. Thanks. We got three kilos of cocaine to explain why. I mean, what's Danny trying to achieve? Well, that's what we're going to find out in an interview. Because as it stands, Danny's statement is all we've got to link McCann to the drugs. Okay, you tell me about this. I don't know how it happened. Well, that's funny, because for all the world, it looked like you ripped it out. Why would I want to do that? Well, we were hoping that you could tell us that. Danny, are you afraid of Nick McCann? Afraid of him? He's not a violent man. He abducted an eight-year-old boy! For the benefit of the tape, I'm showing the suspect exhibit BG3. That's you, isn't it? Yeah. And that's Owen Reaney getting in the back seat of your car. Yeah. But I'm not kidnapping him. What were you doing? Taking care of the kid. For Danny, he'd asked me to. Apparently his mum had a flat tire, I was going to be late, so I picked him up from school. It's just helping out. I couldn't get out of work. I didn't know how long Maggie was going to be. I asked Nick to pick Owen up. I'm sorry for any confusion. You're sorry? Let me get this straight. Are you telling us that your previous statement is false? Yeah. All of it? All of it. I didn't realise Maggie would be there so quickly. That she'd panic. We called the police. Then everything just escalated. Do you think this is some sort of a game? No, I don't think this is a game. I'm trying to tell you what happened. I've never hurt anyone, let alone a kid. Never would. In fact, he had a blast. Playing video games, ice cream, the works. Ask him if you don't believe me. You sure you want to do this? Yeah. 
You're aware of the consequences? Possible charges? Losing your job? Yes. You're protecting a drug dealer who kidnapped an eight-year-old child. The only people I'm interested in protecting are Owen and Maggie. McCann's right. We've got nothing to link him to the cocaine. Well, that is admitted conspiring with McCann. So even if he claims he didn't know there were drugs in the bag, we can do him for theft. He'd lose his job. In his position, that could mean a custodial. Owen will be without a father for a second time. We're not social workers. Look, McCann's never going to let this drop. Danny's going to be paying back that money for years to come. At least we've got McCann on our radar now. We've taken three kilos of cocaine off the streets and we've returned an eight-year-old boy to his home. And we've still been had. All right, talk to the CPS. We'll release them both. You knew, didn't you, that Danny was going to flip on us? I had a feeling. Don't seem too upset by it. I'm well, not too happy about it, but I understand it. Look, I think he was just trying to protect him. If Danny had sent McCann to the wall, then McCann would never have forgotten who put him away, which means Danny would have been looking over his shoulder for the rest of his life, which means Maggie and Owen would have been in danger. As far as we're concerned, he made a bad choice. At least he did something. You don't buy it? No. Yeah, yeah, I'd buy it. But I'd have preferred a result. Mary, you got my paper? Uh, over there. All right, okay. Thanks. Good night. yourself involved in a situation in the hand and flower this morning. You've been following me. What about this woman? What do we know about her? She got into a car with Leon. Hey, just get through it. Look at me. Did I get emotionally involved? No. I got a result. Uh, excuse me, Sergeant. The responsibility for this is yours. Put the weapon on the floor! Walk down the steps! 